Thanks Keeps for sponsoring this video. Before jumping into this insane experiment, I gotta show you how I actually got here. You see, I love grilling steaks. I like them juicy, I like them fatty, I like them lean, and I like them thick. Just give me any type of steak and I'll be happy. Over the years, I have learned that the fattier the steak is, the better it tastes. So that is the inspiration behind today's video. And the first thing we need to do is to remove the moisture from all of these beautiful steaks. They are one and a half inches thick ribeyes. And as you can probably tell, they are prime grade. This is what you should be looking for whenever you are buying your steaks. Marbling friends, these intramuscular fats that you see is what makes a steak really good. Now my goal is to insert even more. So to remove all of the water from the steak, I'm going to be using something that it's called freeze dry. It is a fascinating process. And here's how it works. The first thing a freeze dryer does is that it freezes the steak. Once that's done, it starts pulling a vacuum. Then the temperatures go way below zero. This allows all the moisture that is inside of the vacuum chamber to go bye-bye. So in the end, it only removes all of the moisture, leaving the steak 100% intact. Do not get this confused with the dehydrator. It is not even on the same level. So now after putting it in my freeze dryer, the only thing left to do is to wait 48 hours. That's perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and concentrate on the next important ingredient. And we're talking about bone marrow. It is also known as butter of the gods. You see, bone marrow is 100% fat, but unlike butter, it tastes like beef. It is amazing on a piece of bread and many other things. So we're gonna use this to rehydrate the steak. But if you want to have a very good tasting bone marrow, the first thing you need to do is to clean it very well. These little pieces of meat that comes attached to the bone is actually not a good thing. They produce a smell that infuses into your bone marrow as you're cooking it. So I highly recommend you removing all of it out. I've done an experiment and it makes a huge difference. To take it out, it's not a big deal and it's best to do it while it's still frozen. Just grab a cleaver and go to town. Because once you are done, take a look at what it looks like. Now that's more like and it's gonna give you a much better end result. Now if you take a closer look in the bone marrow, you will see a little bit of dark spots. That is blood that is inside there. There's no way that we can take it all out. However, we are able to remove most of it and here's how. On a large container with water, you wanna make a salt brine. I know it sounds fancy, but it's nothing. It's just a good mixture of salt and water. Make sure that you let the salt dissolve 100%. As you might already know, salt removes moisture from steaks, but it can also remove the blood from the bone marrow. And since it's on a salt brine, there's no way that the blood can go back in. So to do that, all you have to do is to let it soak for 24 hours. That's perfect because by this time, my freeze dry steaks were ready. And take a look at this. Have you ever seen a steak like that? Notice that the shape and size is exactly the same. Zero difference, the only thing is that there is zero water inside of the steak. And I mean, if you were holding it on your hand, you would say that it's a styrofoam. It's pretty much weightless. You see, before I put it in the freeze dryer, these steaks were all 16 ounce steaks. Or better yet, to be precise, 462 grams. And take a look at all of the moisture that it was lost half of it everybody it's completely gone and the funny thing is that it did the same exact thing to every single steak now i know that it's hard to believe that all of the moisture is completely gone but let me show you a closer look by opening one up take a look at this as i slice it open look 100 percent bone dry it is like the sahara desert now that is something you do not see every day my job now is to bring this thing back to life and for that, we're gonna be using our bone marrows. And after 24 hours on the salt brine, it was ready. You can clearly see that the water completely changed color and that's because it's full of the blood that was inside of the bone marrow. So after removing it from the brine, patting it dry real good, take a look. Most of the blood is completely gone. Now that will give the bone marrow a wonderful taste. Now the only thing left to do is for us to completely liquefy this thing. And to do that, it's just like butter. And the best way is to stick it in the oven in the broiler setting for 10 minutes. As it's doing so, a lot of the bone marrow will melt. And if you did everything right, you should have a wonderful smell. It's like roast beef. It smells like the holiday when you're roasting your prime rib. But after about 10 minutes, I took it out and look at this. At this stage, it is perfect to enjoy it with a little bit of bread. However, we wanna take it even further and that's to cook it more so that we can extract all of it out. So I popped it in the oven for an additional 10 minutes. Once that time was up, it extracted almost all of it. Because now this thing is real hot. So all I had to do was to make sure that I extract all of it out. 
I did whatever it took because I didn't want anything to go to waste. Now these solids are not gonna do me any good for the rehydration of the steak. However, this is not going to waste. Trust me. But what I was really looking for was this. The butter of the gods. If you've never had it, you don't know what you're missing. And if you did and you didn't like it, try the method I just made. Because if you go through the process of removing all the blood, it tastes amazing. And I cannot wait to find out how the rehydration is gonna work. So I went ahead and dropped it right on top of the steak. And this thing soaks it up like a sponge. Even though it's 100% fat, since it's still hot, it works really good. But I had to roast even more bone marrow because only those three were not enough. So I made sure to add 200 grams to ensure that it would hydrate the steak. At least to me that sounds like an overwhelming amount. And since I had more steaks to experiment I decided to do something else. And that was to make a mix of 80% water and 20% fat. Hopefully this will give me a better well balanced steak. I have no idea if it's gonna work but that's my thought. And if you've ever tried to combine water and oil together you know that's almost impossible. Take a look at this. Now I know I can use an emulsifier like Dijon mustard or white vinegar. However there's no way that I want to do that to change the flavor of the steak. So I had to go with my gut and use this exact mixture. And as I'm doing so to my surprise it works. It actually works quite well. This steak soaks it up like a sponge for real. To ensure that it was completely rehydrated I kept flipping the steak. And as I was doing that I had another thought which is to try something else. To have a full comparison I want to just add water into the steak. This will really tell me if it's worth adding the bone marrow or just water. And as you can see when I say it's a sponge I mean it. That is why I love to make videos. Because if I tell you there's a way for a steak to act like a sponge you will not believe me. But seeing this hopefully will make you a believer. But now that we have all of our steaks ready I also added one more to the pot which is a fresh steak. This way we're really gonna know if it's worth doing this insane experiment or not. But now like every steak the next step is to go ahead and get them seasoned. And for that I kept it very simple. I started with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder nothing else. And as always I made sure to season it properly. Because the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and get them cooked. I will treat them like a regular steak. That means I'm first gonna be putting a wonderful sear on all of them. Once that's done I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit and for that I'll be using my wireless thermometers. And I'm hoping that the rehydrated bone marrow steak will be the best one I've ever had in my life. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some hair left. And Keeps is a subscription service that focus on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat male pattern baldness. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information all online. You don't have to leave your house. Then the doctor will recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. And your treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. So if you are ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Foods to get 50% of your first order of hair loss treatment. Guys, it is so easy, all online, directly to your door and affordable. Do not let male pattern baldness sneak in. Prevent it today by going to keeps.com slash Foods or click on the link below and get 50% of your first order today. Keeps, thanks again for sponsoring this video. Guys, now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks, mama. Huh? Are we looking at the same steaks? <laughs> Come on, Mozzie. They are fantastic. We got, we got a little Listen, bit of. I know you have an experiment going on today. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna let you know that this is the only one I'm eating. You're only eating that one. These yes. don't look appetizing, my mouth. Huh? <laughs> this doesn't even look like a steak. Look like a cardboard that you cut. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. There's a very unique experiment with this one. Let's just say it like that. Uh, but like, Mamao, you have tried so many mystery meats with me already. Yeah. This is nothing, Mamao. This is nothing. <laughs> it's cardboard. Uh, That's what it is. Well, maybe it is. Well, I don't know. That one might not be cardboard. That one look like shoe leather. That one does look like shoe leather, everybody. I'll tell you one thing with this method of cooking. <laughs> It's a method of cooking, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. You know what that one reminds me? Remember when we used to go to the farm and then the boots would have caked mud? And yeah. Oh, my mouth. Come on. We're going to eat this That's thing. That's what it looked like. No, my mouth. Come it on, like man. It like dried mud, no, man. Th that looks delicious, everybody. Okay. I am very excited to try All right. this one. All right? So here, I'm as you can tell, you want to try this one? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Just the way you like it? Yeah. <laughs> this one is overcooked? No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, well let's uh, start up with a good palette and see how this goes, yeah? Oh, I'm going to just repeat the same ex this same experiment over here. Several times? Several times. <laughs> All right, very first one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Oh. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Look at this guy. This one, you want to take a second and enjoy it, you know what I mean? Man. It's so good, everybody. It's so good. Perfect crust. <laughs> you don't perfect mean, wellness. Perfect doneness. You don't want to talk. You like you don't want to talk. You just want no, to keep I chewing. Want to, oh, <laughs> so good. All right, Mama Zing. So here what we got. Are you ready for the first one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> first one. <laughs> no, Mama. We gotta go for this one. Tell me about the Man. texture right here. All right. To my defense, everybody. These steaks are all cooked to the exact right. same temperature. There's a very good reason why the steak steak is this color right here okay you all know why but mama doesn't mama zing how it's does not, it feel it's not a steak this is a potato chip <laughs> it's breaking uh, yeah it's like crunchy <laughs> it's <laughs> what if it's crunchy, it's mama? crunchy. <laughs> I, I grabbed that and go like <laughs> exactly it is crunchy all right this one here oh man it's hard to cut it smells different you guys you're having it? a hard time cutting it, mama what happened huh i have to rip it apart i can't <laughs> cut it <laughs> well let's find out right now Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Mama, what do you think about that one? <laughs> you know what it is, Mama? <laughs> it's like pure fat. It's pure fat, everybody. Like, it doesn't taste like a steak. You, you bite on it, and the only it's thing like, that happens is like it crumbles down, it's like and a, the fat comes out yeah, flooding it's like a your oozing mouth. fat. It's like a crunchy, oozing fat fat so like if you oh, and, and the fat doesn't taste that good <laughs> oh, god golly like you what i'm sorry whatever i did i'm sorry well why you making me last one i lost my breath over there that one you see, the steak is trying to kill you. It is trying to kill me. Boy, let me tell you something, everybody. I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> That's a it is like the steak took a mind of its own and it has pure fat. That's what it is, my mouth. There's no steak in it. It's 100% fat. And the fat is a I mix mean, of different flavors, which you guys already know what it is. I'll tell you what I did, my mom. I freeze dried the steak and then I rehydrated with 100% bone marrow. It makes sense. It makes sense that it's extremely, extremely fatty, did everybody. It, did it rehydrate, really? It, it, well, kind of. You see what I'm saying? It's still yeah, a little. Yeah, it still looks dry and it, bad. <laughs> Okay. Let me see if I can put it next to the Here. camera All so right. you guys can hear. I mean, next to the microphone so you can try to hear it. Now, this one here is different. Okay. It's not bone marrow. So let's try it. It's something else completely. Let's see yeah. if he actually made it a little bit better or not. To be fair, it looks a little bit better than the other it one. It does. It does. It looked like it rehydrated a little bit better. Somewhat. You know what I mean? Okay, this one cuts a lot nicer. I can tell you that right yeah. now, right? Yeah, this one definitely rehydrated a little bit. Yeah, it cuts a lot nicer. So, with that being said, enough talking. Let's try the steak. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Come on now. Works like a charm. Fantastic. There you go. I even go back for a second bite. Yeah, yeah I can eat that. Not bad. No, not bad at all. It is a good steak. Obviously, that's a little bit dry. It's a little bit dry. Maybe I can rehydrate it for longer. I only rehydrated for, as you guys know, 24 hours. It tastes like a steak and it's actually edible. If I'm on a survival situation. Oh, I'll go for that. 100%. And I have not eaten a steak for yeah, yeah, yeah. a month. 
no. you give me this, it's like the same thing if I go to a five star restaurant, yes. everybody. Yeah? yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> That's what we're comparing. Not this one, Mama. This one is a, it's a different le league. You know what I mean? I know. That's why I like it. <laughs> All right, let's go for this one last one here. Now, right. this one here, obviously, is a little bit different. I put power rate on it. So we're going to see if power rate tastes good. <laughs> I'm joking, Mama. I didn't do that. <laughs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Absolutely, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not as bad as this, but no. it's definitely not nearly that. Exactly. The water one is much, much better. Mama, this one was with water and bone marrow. Okay. The water does a much better job by itself. Yes. Agree, Mama? I agree. There's nothing else to do if you extract all of those uh, wonderful juices from the steak to preserve it for many, many years. The best way to do it is just find yourself some water, rehydrate it, forget about the bone marrow. It will be a much better survival steak, but in no means will it ever come close to the fresh. No. Huh, Mama? No way. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. We out. Oh, you're going more for the fresh. Huh? How about this one right here? <laughs>